Hi, it's Terry from Terry B Fantasy Crafts. Um, if you saw, um, you may have seen my video of actually making this card. I'm just going to let go down over the top now um, because I was holding it <laughs> so you could see on the card. You may have seen the video um, of um, making this card and we did along the bottom um, and I didn't do the embossing very well on it. Um, it's okay now because I've gone back over it. Um, but you can see the bits of red there. Um, I didn't emboss it very well because it was um, hard to do it going along this this way. So what I've done, I'm going to go from the beginning and show a new method as well of, um, of making a sort of volcano type terrain. Okay, so... Um, what I'm going to use this time is some um, structure paste, it's Imagination Crafts, um, those who know me will know I, I quite like Imagination Crafts, um, I don't have that much of it left, um, so I'm going to have to get myself some more, um, yeah, some structure paste and we need um, a spatula, um, I, need, I use the nicer ones rather than the plastic ones for the structure paste. And we're just going to, we didn't use structure paste in the first one, so I'm just going to get a bit on the back of my spatula and just spread it a bit like butter. It doesn't have to be sort of um, exact, in fact, better not exact. And then just taking the palette knife and just going like that, and I'll show you. That's just sort of going like that. We'll make so you can have it um, however you like. This is great on using on um, canvases for um, for multimedia purposes or mixed media. I'm putting this now near me um, going on. Um, <laughs> You can hear some rattling there. It's just I've put the palette knife into water. Right, next I'm going to have some of these um, stones. And I'm just going to put them on here. Now there's two ways of doing it. Either you can let that dry and then use some glue, which is probably the better method. Or you can just go straight in and... Um, put these stones on but as I say if you glue it it's it's um, a lot better um, for them to stay on right, and then you're just sort of pressing them in um, leave a board around the side um, if you want to um, and you can sort of fussy it up with the um, spatula as well if, if you want um, you know if you want to make the structure how you want it um, I just prefer you know, um, bouncing by I just prefer it to be sort of left naturally as um, terrain probably well it is just natural right so then you leave that to dry um, which I've already done here obviously it's not the same shape um, now I didn't use the um, gluing method on here. I did for some of it just to see um, how it would work. So then you've got um, something like that. Okay. I'll stay here long enough, it might, um, <clears throat> the autofocus might kick in. And then we need some um, black gesso and um, this make is um, Pebio. I do know that Imagination Crafts do gesso but I'm not sure if they only do white or whether they do black as well and if you saw um, the video of making that card you'll know that this comes out rather quickly the black. Yeah, there you go. All in one blob. Hmm. <laughs> I've seen that before. And it's just a case then of um, 
of painting it with these stones on. So I, I haven't um, sort of taken the time that I would have normally. And so you just definitely need a lot more than that, aren't I? Um, Don't go all over me like the last bit did. I'm going to take some from here. Oops. Should have used a bigger brush as well. I do have one in there. Get some um, kitchen towels. much quicker than faffing with the uh, small brush. It's all just sort of uh, losing out there a bit. It's always been like that. I was wondering whether it's because I've had it too long, but no, this one's always been, the black has always been troublesome. So. that as much as we can. Um, do something with my hands. So we've got that there. Sorry. And it's not all covered but you can sort of um, go in um, and sort of spend a hell of a lot more time on it than, than I have. So we let that dry, which I've done on one I made earlier. And once that's dry, we can then go in with some glue, as usual I'm using Cosmic Shimmer. And I'm just gonna dip bits in, bits in holes, round and about. Let's have one way right there. A bit of a pool by right there. These are going to be the molten lava pools. With, uh, Okay, leave that for a couple of seconds. Um, get that piece of paper I need two really, but I've only got one. It's not wet, yeah. I did earlier. Okay, that should be okay now. Pour that over the top. It's um it's well powder, it's not sparkly, it's primary apple red. And it's regular. It's um, it's not got any um, glitter in it at all, um, but it will actually become. It will look pretty molten. One escapee, two escapees there. Of stones. Okay, if I can get this back into the pot now. I normally put one of these underneath um, J 
just to catch just to catch um, bits that go under there but I can wipe that off if when you've got those it's filthy hands so to emboss I'm sorry if you heard it all on the other one but just in case people are only just looking at how to do this bit um, you've got an embossing tool um, which is um, a, a heating tool if you will um, this one happens to have a stand which is handy because they do get hot it's got two speeds on um, I only ever use the hot one <laughs> well, the, the not the hot one the um, fast one because I'm pretty impatient um, a hairdresser hairdresser I said it again a hairdryer is no good for this do not use a hairdryer um, and that's about it you can get them in, in lots of places um, I, I sometimes have them on my website which is www.fantasycrafts.co.uk um, Right, so we put the um, heater on and you should leave it for a bit um, as I explained in the other video as you would with an iron when it's um, heating up, you, you wouldn't use your iron before it's heated to the correct temperature. So you do need to leave this out. That's hot enough. Now, let's see if I can do it better this way. Let's try and get my hands from under it so that you can actually um, see what's happening. I'm just hoping you can see. I'm just leaving it there a bit until it turns. I don't know if you can see that it started. I want to have two bubbles in there, which I don't want. That could well be the glue. I shall have to dry a bit longer. Yeah, it is the glue. Too much glue. But anyway, um, I wonder what happened. I'm going to experiment because the glue bubbled up there, so I'm going to put some more on just to see because I can. Well, no, not to do it again if it goes wrong. should be hot enough now. Hmm. You can see the um, bubble of that big piece there. That's looking um, very watery. Well, watery is looking very um, like molten as it's supposed to. Whereas I wanted it to. <coughs> now normally you wouldn't um, overheat it, but it, because it's um, it's on like gesso and there's lots of glue in there, um, it sort of doesn't really really matter because it hasn't got to be pure and um, hasn't got to look, you know, um, pretty. Um, it's supposed to be a top of a volcano, um, but I don't know if you can see that. But that's looking really really good so from there I mean you can um, make quite a few things this, that's brilliant for multimedia I did actually use that um, as the bottom of a, an easel card and the easel card sort of stood by there and um, so the volcano-ish was um, was holding it if you ever see me at one of the shows 
Come and ask me because I've normally got that card out here. It, that too has got dragons. So that is how that basically is um, is supposed to be looking. Um, what I'm going to do with this is put a lot more um, of the wow embossing powder on. Um, as I said, when I originally did it, I wasn't able to do it properly because of trying to show the camera what I was doing and it was much easier there to go down rather than sort of how I was going there. Okay, so that's it for now and I'll um, speak to you again. Bye.